Hi, everybody. Fireside chat number. 224. 224. Wow, I thought it was 222. Boy, life goes by. I can date my life by fireside chats. <laughs> number 224. Hi, I'm Dennis Prager. This is Otto, America's most famous dog. He, he, it has not uh, in any way gone to his head. And that's because he has a very good upbringing here, right, Mr. O? Very good. Now, the question is, will Otto stay the entire chat? It has been his want in the last few months to get up and leave when he felt like it. And no amount of bribery seems to work. Anyway, welcome to the fireside chat. A few things, and then I take your questions. So a few things, uh, not in any order of importance, uh, but just uh, I'm th reminded Yesterday was Groundhog Day, and that is one of my two, three favorite films ever made. If you haven't seen Groundhog Day, I surely recommend it to you. It is a profound movie and a funny movie. To be profound and funny at the same time is quite an achievement. The acting, the writing, the directing, they're all superb. And the, the ultimate lesson is that you've got to get it right. You keep repeating errors and repeating errors. Groundhog Day keeps repeating in the movie. And until he gets it right, he can't move on to the next day. And that, in, in a certain sense, is, is true for all of us. It's true for everybody. You don't realize it, but everybody has a Groundhog Day. Everybody has things... You ever, you ever think, oh, my God, I just keep repeating the same mistake? Everybody has said that. So, in effect, the movie is about don't repeat the same mistake. You can't move on until you decide not to repeat the same mistake. So, it's a great lesson. There are many great lessons to it. And I thought I'd share it with you because... I don't normally talk about movies, though I will acknowledge that when I see one I really enjoy, I really enjoy it. Next item is the Canadian uh, truckers' strike. Just a few words about that. The people upon whom modern society is dependent for their food and just about everything else that they have in life, truckers, the contempt with, with, with which uh, truck drivers uh, have now been uh, dealt with is astonishing. I don't blame them for their anger. They're in a cab alone nearly all of their time, except when they're sleeping.